I'm SP Singh. Today, I'll be taking up a topic, and the name of the topic is Tiger. This is for class 5 EBS, chapter number 1, Super Senses, and this is model number 8. What you will learn today? You will learn the following things. Number 1, basic body parts of a tiger. Number 2, eyesight of tiger. Number 3, sensitivity of tiger's whiskers. Number 4, sense of hearing of tiger. Number 5, different sounds of tiger. Then at the last you will learn how do tigers mark their area. Well, before starting my lesson, let me ask you some questions. The first question is, do you have any pet at home? I feel most of the students must be having a pet animal at home, like a dog or a cat or a rabbit. Then, if you're having, what is the name of the animal you like the most? And I feel most of the students must be keeping a dog or any other animal which you like. Then my next question is, what are wild animals? Wild animals are animals which live in the forest. They are very ferocious and very wild. My next question is, you have to observe the pictures of the wild animals and tell me the national animal of India. Here, the animals given here are lion, elephant, zebra, hippo, then crocodile, tiger, horse, wolf, monkey, giraffe. Out of all these animals, what you have to do is, you have to tell the national animal of India. Yes. The national animal of India is what? It is the tiger. Well, today we shall learn about tiger. To start with the lesion, let us do the first activity. Yet in this activity, what you will do is that you will see this given picture and observe the body parts given here in this picture. These are the body parts of a tiger. First, the body part is we have a ear here. The tiger has two ears. Then two eyes. Then one nose is there. And mouth is there. That whisker on the left and right side of the nose. And it's got a big body. And this is, this area is a big body. Then it has got a very long tail. And this is the area of the tail. Then it has got four legs. These are the legs. And the front legs are here. Then we have got a big pole. It's very dangerous, very powerful one. And these are the poles. So these are all important, I mean basic body parts of a tiger. Now we'll have group discussion about this animal, tiger. So in our group discussion, which is activity number two, let us first discuss the point. The first point is a tiger can see six times better at night than most of us. So here the important point is 
the power of this tiger's eyesight six times better at night. Yes, the eyesight of the tiger is exceptionally good, particularly at night. The eye has been designed to see very well in the dark. In normal daylight, the tiger sees about as well as we do, but without the detail that we can enjoy. At night, though their vision is about six times better than that of a human being. The next point for discussion is the tiger's whiskers are very sensitive and can sense the movements of vibrations in air. They help the tiger move in the dark and find its prey. Well, the mystical whiskers are located on the tiger's muzzle, which we call it the snout, and are used when attacking prey and navigating in the dark. The tiger uses these whiskers to sense where they should inflict a bite. When navigating through darkness, the tiger's pupils dilate to let more light enter the eye to increase their vision. So this is the beauty of tiger's whiskers. Next point. A tiger's sense of hearing is so soft that it can make out the difference between the rustling of leaves and the sound of an animal moving on the grass. The ears of the tiger can move in different directions and this helps to catch the sounds from all around. What does it mean? Tigers have a very sharp sense of hearing because they are able to hear in the range of 0.2 kilohertz to 65 kilohertz. And tigers live in dense forests, so they need strong hearing power to detect and crash and case their prey. So the next point for discussion is tigers make different sounds for different purposes. Like when it is angry or to call out to a tigress. They make different sounds. It can also roar or snarl and its roar can be heard up to three kilometers away. Growls, snarls and hisses are used in aggressive and defensive encounters. Whereas grunting, mewing, purring and woofing are some other noises that tigers make when they are in close contact. So let me move to the next point for discussion. That is, each tiger has its own area. Which may cover several kilometers. Tigers mark the area with the urine. This is a very important point. Further, a tiger can advance Come to know if there is another tiger in this area by the smell of the urine. And a tiger will avoid going into another tiger's area if so. Both female and male tigers mark territory by urination. And Rubbing against prominent landmarks like trees, stones, etc. They routinely patrol their territories and if comes across the smell of another tiger, then the tiger will avoid going into that area. So, uh, what are the facts we have discovered? The first fact is Number one, a tiger can see six times better at night than most of us. I repeat, a tiger can see six times better at night than most of us. The second point is, the tiger's whiskers are very sensitive and their sense of hearing is so sharp. I repeat, 
The tiger's whiskers are very sensitive and their sense of hearing is so sharp. The next point, tigers make different sounds and they mark the area with their earring. So these are the three uh, important points what we have learned today and these facts are very important. Now you can see here a tiger can see six times at night. So you have to remember this one. Then the beauty of these tiger's whiskers, they are very sensitive. And then sense of hearing is what? Very sharp. Then tigers make different sounds. And next is they mark their area with what? Urine. So these are the few important uh, points which we should keep in mind. Now test yourself what you have learned. The first question is uh, this fill in the blanks. Number one, a tiger can see six times better at blank than most of us. What should be the answer? Yes, the answer is night. Number two, the tiger's blank are very sensitive. What should be the answer? It is whiskers. The tiger's whiskers are very sensitive. Then the third one, a tiger's sense of blank is so sharp. What is the answer here again? A tiger's sense of hearing is so sharp. The blank is hearing. We should put hearing in this blank. Then a tiger's roar can be heard up to blank kilometers away. What should answer? The answer is three kilometers. A tiger's roar can be heard up to three kilometers. Next, tigers mark the area with their blank. Again, tigers mark the area with their answer is urine. The tigers mark the area with their urine. And the last one is a tiger will avoid blank into another tiger's area. The answer is a tiger will avoid going into another tiger's area. So that's all for today. Now let me give you some uh, homework. Uh, the question for that is uh, number one. You have to answer the following question. Number one. How big is a tiger? The second question is how first can tigers run? Number three, what do you think are some of the dangers to tigers in the jungle? Number four, what is SAP Tiger Project? I repeat the questions for your home assignment. Uh, how big is a tiger? Number two, how first can tigers run? Number three, what do you think are some of the dangers to tigers in the jungle? And the last question of your home assignment is, what is SEP Tiger Project? If you have any query or any question, you can contact me through this mobile number 9963286849. And my email ID is uh, fullensing.yahoo.co.in. Thank you for watching. Thank you.